Today, we want to take a look at how we can install and also set up Tweezitter for NeoVim. But before we are going to do that, I am just going to quickly discuss what it actually is. So Tweezitter is a library written in C and C++ for parsing source code. And it is meant to be uh, used in places that deal with code that is written in many different languages. So you could immediately think of uh, text editors, but also places that display source code like, uh, for example, GitHub. Now, Tweezitter, it can parse a variety of different languages, and it will produce a syntax tree that all have the same API and also the same format. And it does this actually incremental, so it does incremental parsing. And this means that it doesn't have to parse the whole file again when a file is being updated. Now, all of this is being achieved by uh, using LR parsing, but also GLR parsing. Now, if you want to know more about uh, how uh, Tweezitter is uh, developed and why it is developed uh, and some good examples of uh, what it is actually trying to improve and what it, what it, uh, what Tweezitter is fixing, I suggest you should uh, take, uh, take a look at some of the talks that is given by the developer itself, uh, who is uh, Max Brunfield. He's a software engineer at GitHub. So I will be linking those talks in the description box below. So if you're interested, you can take a look at, uh, at those. Now, as of now, a NeoVim has experimental support for Tweezitter, but I definitely think it's uh, worth a try because uh, some of the uh, benefits that Tweezitter gives to, for example, NeoVim is improved syntax highlighting, uh, also better code navigation or refactoring, and also uh, improved and faster text objects and motions. And we will, we will be taking a look, a look at uh, some of those here in this video. So now we actually want to start installing and setting up NeoVim Tweezitter. And you can go to the official plugin for NeoVim Tweezitter here, which I will be linking in the description box, of course. And if we scroll down to the installation section, uh, you can see that they will provide a snippet to install it using the plugin manager that you are using. Now here they're using Fimplug, but if you use something else like Packer, you can click on the link here and then copy paste for Packer because that's the plugin manager that I am using and uh, you probably as well if you have been following along with me in the other videos. And then we can paste it right here in our Packer config file and I am actually going to put everything on one line. And then we can reload and run Packer Sync to install. Yeah, so that all went well. So then we can actually create a new module for Tweezitter. Now if we go to our Lua directory, we can create Tweezitter config module with an init.lua file, of course. Add it to our main uh, config file in the Lua file. So we need to re require it there. And then start setting up tree setter. So if we go back to the main page of the uh, repository and scroll down to, for example, this part here, language parses. Uh, this tells us that tree setter uses a different parser for every language. Now, if the language is already supported by NeoVim Tweezitter, you can install it with the command right here, uh, ts install, followed by the uh, language name. So, for example, Python, Lua, or any other language. So, I just for example, ts install and then uh, Lua. This will install the parser for uh, the Lua programming language, which is, of course, pretty handy since we are configuring everything with Lua here. And here it explains that each module provides a distinct presetter based feature such as highlighting, indentation, or folding. And we need to enable it explicitly in our config file. So if we copy paste this right here, oh, did I do that correctly? Copy, paste it. And I actually have to 
indent this correctly and this as well so if we take a look at this uh, setup uh, here we can see that uh, it will uh, ensure that the parses that we want to uh, have installed now if we keep it like this maintain that will mean that it will install all the languages that you see here that are supported now that is of course overkill we don't need that so instead we can have a list of uh, parses that we want by putting it inside of a lua table so for example we could use python and uh, lua which we already have installed uh, typescript and whatever parser you want now here you can see a list of parsers to ignore installing now i don't want any parser to be ignored so i'm going to delete that and here is also list of language that will be disabled now i also don't want that so we can delete that as well and these comments right here i'm going to delete as well and in this case, make sure that this is uh, true in all cases because else the plugin uh, will just be disabled. Uh, so you can delete that. And then everything else we can just leave as B. And now we can actually start taking a look at how uh, the language, uh, the tree setter, tree setter parser will give us better syntax highlighting for example, a Python file. Now, if I open up a new terminal and navigate to my uh, Qtile config file or folder directory, I mean, and then open up my config.py file, uh, you can see that uh, by default, well, NeoFim actually or Fim doesn't ha really have a great syntax highlighting. So for a long time, people have uh, relied on something called Polyglot, which is still pretty great, uh, but not as uh, uh, good as what presetter will provide us so as you can see at the bottom uh, because we open up a new new film instance it uh, started installing the parses for the languages that we specified here now if we uh, quit out of this and then reopen you can see that uh, the syntax highlighting provided by presetter has been enabled and then uh, you can see that is actually pretty amazing it looks really good and just to quickly compare it with how we had it before this is uh, how di how different it is yeah so this is just one thing that uh, is powered or is possible because of tree sitter and we can all actually also take a look at uh, our lua uh, lua uh, syntax highlighting or the example this right here this has also been changed because if we take a look at how it looked before this is just some small changes but you can see it because uh, there's not much code in here you can just see how uh, tree setter can provide syntax highlighting or improved syntax highlighting so we can also take a look at different modules or pl uh, external plugins to see how they are making use of TreeSitter. Now, if you scroll down to the available modules, you can click on the, on the link here, uh, which says external plugins. And this will uh, bring you to a page where you can uh, navigate to different uh, modules or plugins that is powered by TreeSitter. So the one that I uh, want to take a look at is Refactor. So let us click on Refactor. And then pay, copy this right here. And then we can add it to our packer config. Reload, of course, and then run packer sync again. Run back a thing that has been installed, and then we actually need to open up our uh, setter config file again because this is where we need to add 
the or enable the actual module refact the module um so for example we can add this right here highlight definitions and usages of the current symbol on the under the cursor did i copy that copy paste Uh, the one that I actually want to take a look at is this right here, the smart rename. So paste that right there. Fix the indentation. And the other one that we can take a look at is navigation. So we can copy that right there and put it underneath this smart rename it's going on there oh that's right uh so underneath this right here and then fix the indentation again Okay, now save this file. Save this file, and then uh, we can. I'm gonna change the key binding for this to Alt, and then we can actually play around with uh, these key bindings. Specifically, I want to do, uh, try uh, go to next usage or go to previous usage and GND. Uh, which is uh, go to definitions or you can also list the definitions here uh, and this one right here is actually really nice smart rename which we can see in a moment so save that and then go back to my qtile config directory and let's take a look at my uh, bar configurations for qtile so if i split up Unicode's here at the side. This is basically uh, some functions that I wrote to uh, display the uh, widgets here at the top. And as you can see right now, if you go to the left here, my bar config, I am using lower left triangle. Uh, but I could actually use something else like, uh, for example, uh, what did I had? Oh, apologies. Uh, Unicode, uh, for example, left arrow, that's something that I could use. And if I want to do that, so this is where I have uh, defined the function or where I import the function, but uh, using the alt star uh, map key mapping, I can go to the next usage. So you can see where uh, I'm actually calling this function. So alt uh, star. So this is where I use it there. There's a bunch of places where I call this function. And what we want to do is, uh, let's go back. So if I want to go to the place where the function is imported or defined in this, uh, uh, I can use GND. So I go back to the top and to rename this uh, at in all places where I call this function, I can use GRR. And then it uh, shows a prompt for a new name. And then I can do, for example, left arrow. And now you can see that it has been renaming uh, it at all the places that I uh, had it earlier, but now with a new name. So that is uh, pretty amazing that Presetter can uh, do that by just uh, placing the cursor underneath the actual uh, symbol. Uh, I suggest that you can uh, take a look at uh, some other plugins. So for example, the Twisetter Playground uh, allows you to take a look at the, for example, syntax tree or other Twisetter information while you are actually typing code. Uh, there's the TS Rainbow plugin, uh, module, which uh, will give you rainbow parentheses. So all the parentheses inside of your uh, source code will have different colors. Uh, I, I've tried this out myself, 
actually, but uh, it's not something that is actually really useful to me. Uh, so I uh, removed it. But you can take a look at it for, for yourself, of course, uh, to see if this is something that you like. Um, there's also the auto pair plugin that you can use uh, to uh, have the, what is it, the, the, the uh, for example, parentheses or brackets to auto close, which we haven't enabled yet. But that's something you can do yourself. Uh, of course, uh, the purpose of this video is to just give you the basic examples of what Tweesitter can do. So that's where I want to end this video. Uh, I hope this video was insightful and helpful and will help you to set up other Tweesitter based plugins or powered plugins and modules. So yeah, thank you for watching.